So we saw the video about Jacob Lawrence and Augusta Savage, his teacher, and we we're talking about him expressing things that are important that were going on in his world. So I asked you to go ahead and find two pictures on the internet related to something important for you in your world. So I am finding an image of Statue of Liberty. And I just ask that when you find your image that you hold down the alt button on a Chromebook or uh, right click on a PC, or if you're on a Mac, you hold down control, you hold down and you press uh, copy image address and put the image address, make sure that you have the image address in your Google document you don't, it, having the image is fine, but having the image address is more important so that later we can go back and find that image. Uh, and we're gonna be using those images in order to make your artwork today. So make sure that you put the image address in there. Then the next step is once you have the image address in your Google document, then we're going to go into Photopia, and we're going to put the image in as well. So in the window where you have your picture, we click on the picture again, holding down Alt if you're on the Chromebook, and you choose Copy Image. We go into Photopia. We're going to make a new project, and the size, I'm, I'm not too worried about the size. I'm just going to choose Social and then Instagram. Um, as far as what you choose on size, pick any size right now is fine. The project is art in the style of Jacob Lawrence. So we put Jacob Lawrence and then put style and then your initials. Jacob Lawrence style and then your initials hit create to create your new document. Once you're in there, then we're gonna go ahead and paste your image in. So control V is one way of pasting an image in. Now I'm gonna duplicate this image because for me, I wanna show Statue of Liberty, but I also wanna show Statue of Liberty again. So I'm just duplicating my image and I'm gonna flip it, but um, I can flip horizontally. This is a tool that you could use if you wanted to. So I'm gonna actually have two images in my document. Is you go back to your Google document and then you can click on the link of the image that you had found earlier. When you click on it, then you go ahead and copy it and paste it into Photopia. So mine was an image of bees dying. Oops, I accidentally closed it. So I go and see this is another reason why it's great to have the link right there in your Google document, because even if you lose it, it's right there. So I'm gonna copy that. And again, to copy an image, you can hold down the button that is called Alt, on your keyboard if you're on a Chromebook. And if you're on a Mac, it's control. And if you're on a PC, it's right click. And you copy the image and you paste it. Control V to paste, pops in there. Right, next step would be to edit your image so that you see what you want to see. So this is really, based on what kind of image you have. But if you have a whole lot of one color in a picture, this tool is really handy it's called the magic wand. And when you choose the magic wand tool, you can select all of a certain color. You hold down shift and you kind of click in the area of the color that you want to select. And you'll see these dotted lines show up. And so you just go ahead and we want to make these images look like they belong together. So I'm going to get rid of the background of this little bee here. Once you have something selected, you press the add raster mask. Add raster mask. 
And anything that's black will disappear and anything that's white will appear. So if you want to fade stuff together, you can use your paintbrush on the mask. Anywhere you paint black, the picture's going to disappear. So you can see I'm like erasing kind of. You can make your brush bigger right here. You can also make your brush fuzzy so it has kind of like a faded edge. So you can see I have a really big brush right now. And sometimes you don't want to have a big brush. You can use your bracket tool to make your brush smaller. That's a fast way. Bracket on the keyboard looks like a parentheses, but it's like straight. It's a straight parentheses. And you can go in and you can kind of like erase stuff that you don't want to see using the mask tool. All right, so go ahead and clean up stuff that you don't want to see. Now we're going to do this in Jacob Lawrence style. So we're going to simplify the colors. So to simplify the colors, you click on a layer. So pay attention carefully to this part. You click on a layer. So I've got my B layer. And then I go filter. Filter gallery. Filter, filter gallery. And then in there, there's something that says, um, poster edges. you can kind of see that it has, it simplified the colors a little bit. And if I can lower the edge intensity, it's here. See how it changes, it simplifies the colors. It has fewer colors if I drag it this way. More colors when I drag it that way. We're gonna simplify the colors. I have one here, edge intensity down. Edge thickness. Now, if you bring it way up, you're going to see this kind of like, I don't know, outline sort of. If you bring it all the way down, I guess you see a little less of that. But okay. That simplifies the colors a little bit. You do that with both of your images. So you're going to simplify the colors in your images by going to filter, filter gallery, and we hit paint jobs. And I'm sorry, poster edges. I said paint dogs, I meant to say poster edges. And adjust it so that it looks right to you. Hit OK. And then we're just going to blend your pictures together. If you have questions, please ask them in the chat. So Fine, we're gonna start blending the pictures together. And again, I just showed you how you can use the magic wands. You can click on a color in a picture and you can delete it. Or you can, instead of deleting it, if you click on a color, you can mask it out by pressing the mask button right here. Everywhere that's black will be invisible. Everywhere that's white will be visible. And sometimes you wanna, uh, reverse it. So I press control I to reverse the black and white sometimes. Um, but here I have two images of Statue of Liberty in here. And now I'm going to go to the B and I'm going to get rid of his background. So I'm again using the magic wands. I click on the color that I want to get rid of. And I hit the mask button and I press control I. And I can click on whatever colors and I can paint black on them by pressing Alt and Delete as well. I can click in a color if I'm on the picture, I can delete the color, but sometimes it's easier if I mask it. But I can also click on the picture and just delete colors if I need to. 
but you can see like here, it got rid of part of the wings. And that's one of the nice things about using masks is you can bring colors back. So if I select a certain color inside of a picture, I'm clicking on the picture. I use my magic wands. I hold down shift and I'm clicking on a certain color that I want to get rid of. And then I click on the mask and I use my paintbrush. I can make that color disappear right there without cutting out other stuff. And that really helps. And then if you press control D, it deselects or command D, it deselects. And if you just wanna paint straight, you can use your paintbrush and just erase stuff by painting black on it. And if you make a mistake, like, oops, I lost part of the wing, I paint white. And to paint white, I press X and the, num the color changes down here. You paint white, the picture comes back. So that's one of the nice things of using a mask is you can bring pictures back. So I'd like you to have a very simplified set of colors and combine at least two or more images together inside Photopia and play around with that right now. So I selected an area that I want to uh, get rid of. So I go to the mask part of the picture and I use my paintbrush and I just go in and I can get rid of that. So remember, um, you can edit your images um, by color and that was the magic wand tool. And I use the mask and so when you click here you're actually on the mask and you can make things appear and disappear and when you click here this is where you can go to select your color first so like i see there's a little bit of blue there so i can go to my magic wand i can click on that color up here on this part of the picture but then when i want to get rid of it i click on the mask and i use that paintbrush and anywhere i paint black it's going to disappear so then i can see through what's underneath it so if I wanted to have this green background to show up um, from this other picture that's underneath, I can resize it. And remember to resize, you make sure you have your transform controls on. Um, and when you're resizing, make sure you have the right thing selected. So right there, I had that little teeny tiny part of the torch selected. So I had to press com control D to deselect it. So if you see dotted lines somewhere and you want to unselect them, it's control D. And then to resize, you can just drag things from the corner. Um, and if you hold down shift, it'll retain its proportions. So it won't like make it um, get too narrow or too broad if you hold down shift. So that's helpful whenever you hold down shift to not distort your pictures too much. Once you get your images in and you have the color simplified, then you go in and you go file, export as, and then either PNG or JPEG. And once you do that, you hit save. And if you're on a Chromebook, it's likely saving in your Google Drive or on another computer, it might be saving in your desktop or your documents folder. Next, you go into your Google Doc. And then you're gonna place it into your Google Doc by going insert image. And then if you're on a Chromebook, likely you'll look for it under drive or upload it. And remember when we started this project, I asked you to name your project a certain name. And the, the benefit of naming it that way is to so that it's easy for you to find because I know you can have a lot of files on your computer. So if you follow the naming that I give you in the video, so we named it Jacob Lawrence style and then your initials. So that makes it easier for you to find it and you can do a search for it at that point. You hit open and then title it and then say art in the style of Jacob Lawrence and digital imagery using Photopia and then your name and the date. Now we can do basic drawings and simplify the lines more but this is a good start for the Jacob Lawrence style by minimizing the colors in your image. Uh, it can make it look a lot more simplified. 